Hi everybody, my name is Nick McCarty and I'm here at Computex 2010. Uh, I'm with uh, Adenio Embedded, a software engineering company, as well as Texas Instruments and Microsoft. And today I'm going to show you Windows Embedded Compact 7. And here we have uh, our device. This is a development platform. It's based on Texas Instruments OMAP 3530 application processor. The processor is based on the ARM Cortex A8 architecture. It has a DSP, TI's DSP technology on chip. It also has a PowerVR, OpenGL, and um, PowerVR SGX accelerator. So now all of this is running Windows Embedded Compact 7. Compact 7 is available to the public now through their CTP program. It's still in the beta development stages, but uh, here Denio has integrated it on this board and we're showing the new UI and um, graphics capabilities of the Silverlight 3 engine. So we have just a kind of a software demo here to show and kind of the capabilities of the board, Texas Instruments OMAP processor, uh, Denio software, as well as Windows CE Compact 7. I'm just going to run through a few of the things here. Um, we've chosen this, this kind of design. You could use it as a, maybe a tablet design or a connected inter internet device, CID device. And uh, we'll go through a few here. Um, say we click on pictures, you can see we have the sliding in effects, opacity effects, rendering effects in the pictures. I can click into the pictures and now we have full screen picture. Uh, CE7, Compact 7 supports the gestures. Uh, as well as multi-touch, this is not a capacitive touch screen, but it does have that capability. And you can have custom gestures as well. So we'll go back out of this. Again to the home screen, um, we have music. With the new Compact 7, there's a, in, the, in Silverlight, we have basic components and features built in. So you see our design here, but when we click on audio, we now have a default audio player. You see here, you don't see the existing CE shell. So we've done all of this work to replace all the existing shell. It's unbranded. You can brand it however you like. And we have custom effects. But we're using the Microsoft Compact 7 technology to help us do that. So we can close here. We can go back. The other thing I want to demonstrate is uh, the video on the OMAP 3530. We have just a simple video here to show. Uh, it's a simple low resolution, quick video. But you can see here, media player. It's RO Media Player. You don't see the standard Windows Mobile 5 or you know any of that kind of architecture. It's all around. We have audio playing in the background. So we can go back. Now the last thing that I want to demonstrate is probably the, the coolest new feature of Compact 7 so far available. We have uh, the new internet browser based on IE7. This is a completely new technology compared to the previous CE6. And you can see the new pop-up keyboard, very clean. So we can type in Computex here. And browse through the web page. And this is really browsing on the internet, this is the real internet here. You can see full page loading is very quick, it's very fast. It's done, we're loaded. And we have uh, gesture support and pane and zoom features so we can zoom pages and I can pan um, but what I want to show is that the speed of the of the browsing um, right now in the CTP version we have this support it, we hope to have a uh, support in the future for uh, the flash so there will be at the end of the year when they release the, the full market product be flash capable so we can go back to our main menu here you can see actually behind this is a Denio's demo, and you saw that flash. Behind here, we have the Microsoft Consumer Shell, which is uh, provided with Compact 7, and it makes it easier to, you can leverage from that source code and that XML design to do this design. In fact, I didn't really mention talk about Silverlight, but we can end with that. This is running on the Silverlight using the Silverlight XAML XAML runtime engine. So what we have here is this UI designed by graphic designers, all in XML based, using the Expression Blend 3 tool set. You design it, you have them design it, the graphics and everything, they design the UI flow and content, and with that you can pass it off to your Windows uh, embedded development engineers, and they'll integrate it on the platform and communicate with the peripherals and hardware. So it's more of a seamless 
um, design path and it's quick to market and the Silverlight is powerful. And it also will support OpenGL acceleration and 3D rendering effects as well. So thank you for listening. Enjoy the demo. Enjoy Computex.